I would say one of my favorites is Beauty and Death. It's this female figure laying in the grass with this kind of flower growing out of her stomach. She seems to be kind of dead, a little, a little bit dead on that side, but she's got this beautiful flower growing out of her and it just kind of symbolizes that even though something bad has happened to you or something less than awesome, you can still kind of have this rebirth in a sense. I would say art to me is kind of like this figurative language in a sense where, especially with my recent portfolio with the absence of figures, it's kind of this visual language that people all over can understand. They can kind of just see it and reflect on themselves, have that reflective moment, and also it can help them translate ideas throughout people. I think one of the best ways to describe it is, is hard working. You know, she's always working on her assignments, she's always turning in things on time, very punctual, never hesitates to go back and rework things or make corrections based on peer reviews or teacher reviews. Uh, and she's uh, really dedicated, you know, I mean, um, there's a few kids in the classroom that, that are, are working all the time and, and she's definitely one of those. With my recent portfolio, with my figures having no features, they're kind of just flat figures as they are, I want them to kind of be able to reflect on themselves and have that reflective moment, not seeing it as an absence of a figure, but rather sort of a mirror in that sense, where they can put themselves in that position and see how they would feel in that sense. I'd say creativity is very important with everyone. Even if you feel like you don't have a creative bone in your body, it's important to express it as much as possible, get your ideas out there, and especially just have fun with it.